You guys, isn't it so crazy? It's like we start a project and then all of a sudden time flies by because we're having fun and it is now due. So hopefully you have your um, bug done. You can see mine still not quite there. So I would need to make sure I finish it. Um, we're focused really on just making sure that the bug itself is done. We do not have to do the background because we want that bug to pop. Anyway, so once it's done, um, we'll be ready to move on to the next steps of photographing it. And of course, once we've got it photographed, we want to be putting it into our art journal. So come on in to our entry for this project. Make sure everything green is graded. So make sure you're filling it all out. You do lose points if you're not answering the question at the top, if you're not adding all the pictures, if you're not putting in your time and adding it up, like all these things count for points as well as doing that self-assessment by moving that circle down on the bottom. So make sure you're getting all that done to maximize your points, okay? Remember, we are shooting for a total of 10 hours, five from class time, five from outside of class time. So add that all up into this big green box right down here. All right, so you'll want to answer the question up at the top. What type of line or pattern did you use around your bug? How did it add visual interest? So just explain that in one or two full sentences. Um, and then so here in this biggest uh, picture view, we're going to want to have the full view of your bug. We want to see the whole thing in there. Make sure it fills out that space nice and big. Um, detail shots of the line so that you're going to kind of like zoom in. When I say detail shots, it means zoom in so I can see it close up um, of the lines. So that we're talking about the patterns that you've got in there. Okay. Um, if you want to show the, the lines of the actual bug itself, you can go to the opposite side and show it there. That works. Um, and then detail shop, uh, detail shot, sorry, of Sharpie blending. So find the spot on your bug where you did blending. Maybe there's more than one, but we want to show that spot so you can see mine right in here. So that's the specific one we're looking at. So once again, just zoomed in so I can see it really, really close. Um, as a reminder, the easiest way that I have found to add pictures is to come up to the top here, right up where it says insert, choose image, and I think the easiest way is to just take a picture right, right with your Chromebook camera. If that's not working for you, there are plenty of other ways. Um, but this is what I think is the easiest. So then, once you've got your entry entirely filled out, remember there's two ways to turn it in. One way always works. It's the way I suggest. And that's screenshotting entry number three. So hitting Control, Shift, and then that... Um, like box with two lines next to it, it's above the number six. Okay, I call it the photo box. So control shift and the photo box above number six, it's going to gray out your entire screen. And then you just use your mouse to capture just entry number three. Okay, so you're going to hit capture, it's going to copy it automatically to your clipboard. So that's when we come on in to um, Buzz and we go to the turn in section for this project. And then all you have to do now that it's copied to your clipboard, just click in here where it says my comments and hit control V for paste, Velcro paste, um, and hit submit my work. That way it always works. Okay. So that's the way I suggest doing it. However, um, if you want to give me the link to your journal instead, you can do that, but make sure first you come up to where it says share and make sure that anyone with the link can view. So make sure you share those, uh, change those settings so that they're shared so anyone with the link can view. Copy that link and then once again you would just paste it in here. So either way works, just if you do it the link way, make sure you've shared that journal so that anyone with the link can view it. Alright, submit that. You're done. Hold on. But wait, there's more. Because since you've got those photos already, we might as well come on in to the Hall of Frame and you'll see the link right down here at the bottom for the Hall of Frame. And paste those photos of your super cool bug, um, or at least just one of them, into our Hall of Frame. And we can see there's already some in here. How beautiful! I love it, I love it, I love it. So add yours on in as well. You're just going to claim a frame by putting in your name down at the bottom. And then once again, just insert, 
image and you can take a picture with your camera or you can copy and paste it from your art journal up to you but do remember that the only way your artwork is going to make it into that end of the year art show or have the possibility of making it into that is if you share it to the hall of frame we will not be taking artwork from um, the submissions that you've turned in simply because we know sometimes our art is more private we just want to keep it for ourselves we don't want to share it for the, with the world um, and that's okay too but if you want it to be so that other people can view it and potentially in that art show make sure you're sharing it here okay let's go on in two more things to touch on maybe today you're like well i already have this done um in fact miss simpson or Ms. said i was working on my second one um go ahead and turn in a second one it will count for up to five bonus points in this project so yes you could actually get uh, a 45 out of 40 on this project by turning in two of these um, 45 is the max though um, or if you're like well you know I'm done with the foiling but I still am enjoying this bug concept you could do the um, suggestion here where you're going to draw your bug again but this time you are going to draw it with Zentangle patterns so that's what you're seeing in here in fact um, if you're looking for ideas for Zentangle patterns, different ones you could use, just type in Zentangle patterns into Google and you are going to find thousands, thousands of them. So if you are choosing to do the extra credit, all you're going to do then to get those extra credit points is put it right in your art journal entry along with your other ones, or you can just paste it down below um, with your submission and buzz. Just make sure you write a note so that we, we don't miss that, okay? Um, so once again, whether you choose to do the Zentangle or an extra one of the bugs, those do count for up to five extra credit points. Um, so you could get a maximum of 45 out of 40 on this project by going above and beyond and showing that you're enhancing your artistic skills. All right, so get those submitted. We want them in before midnight tonight. And then finally... Next class, we are starting on a new project. We're starting on our string and nail art. Um, so we wanna make sure we gather our supplies and have those ready to go for our next class. So of course, we always want paper and pencil, right? Like that's just a given. We're gonna be brainstorming right away. We're also gonna want that graph paper though, cause that's gonna help us in our brainstorming. A straight edge would also be useful for this. Um, you're gonna need for our next project, nails, um, little finishing hammer, that piece of wood that we've got, our thread, scissors, um, so we're going to need a bunch of things, start gathering those. So you've got them all ready to go for our next project, starting next class. It's going to be amazing. We will see you then.